This video is to showcase how to search and browse the case law on Lexis Plus. Now, you can search for cases in a number of ways using the main search engine on the home screen. If you already have the name of the case or the citation of the case available, then you can pop that into the search engine. For example, if I was wanting to search for Donahue versus Stevenson, I can pop that into the main search. Now, to ensure that we are receiving the actual case itself, what you're going to want to do is use the filter over on the right hand side to pre-select that it's cases that you're looking for, just to ensure that you can be taken straight to the content set that you're looking for. Once you have searched for your case, a number of additional filters will become available on the results page. Because we pre-selected that it was case law we were after, over on the left hand side, we'll now be able to further refine that, whether it's the case overview that we wanted, whether it's the report, whether it's a summary or whether it's a judgment. If we continue to scroll, there will be some additional filters available for us to refine our search. For example, we have a jurisdiction and court filter where we will be able to specify particular jurisdictions or particular courts within a jurisdiction. For example, maybe we were looking for a court of appeal case, maybe a Supreme Court case, and you can tailor it down that way. We also have a timeline. If you wanted to look for a case from a particular time frame, maybe you wanted cases in the past five or 10 years, you'd be able to tailor it using this filter. We also do have practice areas and topics where you would be able to manually add on certain topics or areas that you might want to search for. And finally, we, finally, we have sources where you will be able to choose particular sources that you may want to look across and you'll be able to choose multiple sources here when using this filter. As well as all of these, we also do have the search within results box field where you can once again add on additional topic areas to further refine the results that are being returned. Now, when it comes to looking at case law on Lexis Plus, there are a number of features to be aware of. Now, one of which you may notice that as we scroll, all of our case law have these little symbols next to the title. These are what we call treatment indicators. And the purpose of these is to allow you to understand whether it's good or bad case law whether it's a case that you might want to rely upon, whether it's um, during your coursework, whether it's for general research, whether it's for exam prep. Now, you are able to hover over these and it will let you know what treatment has been indicated. In this particular case of Murphy versus Brentwood District Council, this has been indicated as positive treatment. Now, if you'd like to understand what those symbols mean in a little bit more detail, all you need to do is click into the actual case itself. From the case, if you click onto the information tab on the right hand side, you will see a button that says treatment information, which if selected is going to give you a little bit of information on what those symbols mean. For example, with this particular case, we have positive treatment, which means that the decision that the judges gave in this case has been received well. It's a case that has been affirmed. It's a case that is followed and is a good case to rely upon. The positive treatments are likely the case law that you'll be wanting to look for, but you may well come across some others, in which case all of the information is available for you through the treatment information button. From the same information tab, you will also have access to some related and suggested documents. 
where you will be able to find related and relevant case law. So if you are wanting to do a little bit of a deeper dive, maybe find some other cases on a topic area, you'll be able to do that using that same information tab. Now, once you are within the actual case, again, there are a couple of features to be aware of. You will automatically be taken to a case overview. Now, the case overviews are also a really great way of finding additional cases on the same topic area. With our case overviews, you will be provided with some information such as the court, the judgment date, if you scroll, you're going to get a little bit of a summary of that particular case and the areas of law that are involved. With this particular one, this is all to do with negligence. Now, if we scroll down, you may see case history, which is where you'll be able to see the different courts and stages that a case has gone through. With this one, we can see that this particular case originally went through court in 1988, in which case there was some cautionary treatment that was given. It then went through in 1989 and you can see that it had received some negative treatment, which in turn, the decision was actually then reversed. We now have the current one from 1990, which you can see now has the positive treatment. So if you want to see the stages, maybe if it's gone through an appeal, what's happened, you'll be able to see that under case history. If we continue to scroll, you'll see that we have cases referring to this case, which essentially is a list of all other case law that in coming to a decision, they have referenced the judgment from this particular case. So they've used this in coming up with a decision. Again, it's a really nice way of being able to see other cases or other case law on a similar topic area. So all to do with negligence, as we said. These also will have the treatment indicators cited, so you'll be able to see which ones have received positive treatment. And finally, if we continue to scroll, we also have cases considered by this case, which similarly to cases referred by, these are all cases that in coming up with the decision or with the judgment, they have considered this particular judgment. Again, the treatment indicators are going to be present. Now, if we come back up to the top of the screen, along the top is where you'll receive some tabs. This is where you'll be able to change which case format you'd like to view. So you'll be able to see here case overviews, judgments and law reports, which you can switch across from. Now, on the law reports front, you may well have more than one law report, in which case these would be provided to you and you can switch between them. In the Murphy case, there's actually only one, so we've just been provided with one. But if we scroll down, you can see that it's going to give you all of that information. The court, the judges that were involved, everything that's kind of gone on, and everything will also be linkable. So you'll be able to go into similar cases, the law that was used, if you wanted to do so for additional reading. With our law reports, we also do provide a copy citation button as well as a court ready PDF, which the court ready PDFs would typically be used in practice if this case was being used in a bundle for something that was going to court. Now, coming back onto our homepage, so I'm going to use the Lexus logo here to bring us back to our homepage. We, of course, did just look at a case there using a particular case that we already knew. So by using the name or the citation, if you weren't too sure of what the name or the citation of a case was, you would be also able to search using keywords or topic areas and applying all of the same filters that we have just run through. For example, you might want to look for a negligence case, but you might not necessarily know what that name of that case is. So all you would do is run a topic search 
maybe we could look for duty of care, negligence. And we could then ensure that we're popping on our filters for cases. We could then maybe add on um, some timeline features. Maybe we want a particular court and you would use it in exactly the same way, but just by popping on a topic instead. Now, as well as those two routes, we also do have a couple of additional filters for case law if you are using the advanced search. So over on the right hand side of our search engine, you can see that we have the advanced search button. Now, if you click into this, this is going to bring you to our Boolean builder. And what you'll be able to do with this is search for case law by using some additional filters. All you need to do is use the drop down arrow to choose the content set. So we can choose cases. We're then going to get some filters that we're already used to. So, for example, being able to search by name, citation, judgment date. But what we get is two additional fields that you don't get from the main search engine, which is the ability to search for a case by judge or by counsel. So if you only had either of those two information available to you, then this is where you would need to go in order to be able to find the cases, but by using either one of those um, fields. Now, this last one, the council field, is a particularly useful filter to know about, particularly if you're wanting to build on your commercial awareness and kind of employability because what you'll be able to do with this field is search for cases from particular firms, particular council. If you are wanting to go and talk to somebody at a law fair, or you were going for an interview for a training contract, vacation scheme, internship, this is a really great way of being able to see what cases that individual or firm has been involved in and being able to have a talking point. So as well as being able to find kind of cases, you can also use this for more of an employability and commercial awareness aspect. Coming back onto our homepage one final time, I did just want to highlight the browse route with our case law. Now from the homepage, if you scroll down, you will be able to see my sources, which is where your bookshelf will sit. Now, if you go into view all sources, you'll be able to browse the case sources that we have available. Over on the left, we have got a content filter where we can click onto cases. All of the case sources will then appear. You may even want to narrow this down slightly by using some of the other filters. For example, the practice areas, I might decide to look at maybe the crime case sources, for example. In which case you can see we have the three um, sources available here. Now you can use the I button, the information button, if you would like to understand maybe the coverage, the frequency or what is covered within those particular reports or case source. And when it comes to actually using these, they will work the same as how you would navigate a book or a journal on Lexus Plus. Just to show you that, all you need to do is give them a click. And you will have two options available. There's a search engine. So if you wanted to search for a particular case or topic area within a source, you can do so. Or you can browse, you will be provided with a table of contents. This works the same as using a hard copy book. You just need to find the volume or chapter of interest. Click onto the arrow on the left to open that up and you can see that those bullet points will be the document level or will be the case available for you to have a scroll through, to have a browse through. And that does bring this video to a close where we have looked at how to search and browse and the key features to the case law on Lexus Plus.